Hey YouTube, here with the second part of my video of my Nano Reef Aquarium. Um, I started this a few days ago. Um, this is my updated. I just finished setting everything up inside the tank. Um, I got my my header in there. My filtration is running right now. I've got my heater. I got a air pump in there to circulate the water and um, set everything up. My water is in there. My life sand. It's a little cloudy from what I heard. At first, it's always going to be cloudy because of the bacteria that's in the sand and everything. But once the filtration gets going in about two to three days, the water should be clearing up. And that's when I'm going to do my third part of the video for my nano reef. I added about um, 17 pounds of um, life sand in there. It's about um, three inches, I could say. It's a little, as you can see, it's a little stair because I have one my... Um, one of my headers is up here and it's shooting straight down at the sand and it stirs the sand a little bit. I currently turn it off. I didn't know I had it on. I had to reorganize my cables, but right now it's currently on. The only thing that I have on right now is my filter back here, which you can hear. And I have the air pump, which is right here, my heater which is there and yep that's about it guys um, the water is the instant the real ocean water I mean I believe yeah real ocean water from Petco and let me tell you I'm, I'm surprised what I read online it is true I um, use I'll show you guys in here real quick see what how I did this I organize everything you know I'm a little neat freak sometimes so I like to organize um, I have everything here. I label all my cables. I know what I'm unplugging, what I'm plugging back. I have my air pump in there. So my hydrometer. Um, I've I added the acid as they said. They said to add acid to it. Not acid, but uh, something acidic, which is vinegar, and leave it for 30 minutes. Rinse it out pretty good. Tested my water out, and um, it gave me a 1.023. I retested it and I got the same reading. So I, what I read, that's good. This is my test kit here that I bought, and um, I actually tested my water. I wanted to see how it worked. I follow all the instructions. That's my little log sheet that I have here. Today is the 14, as you guys can see. Uh, my pH was 8.2, and my ammonia level was 0.25. I don't know if you know they should be it should had been zero since I am not running anything in the water right now. I have no no fishes, no life rock, but I guess because of the life sand and the bacteria that it has in it already. Maybe that's the reason. But anyway guys, here's the tank again one more time. And I am soon be doing an update again of everything when my water clears out. And hopefully by the time I get the rocks. I will be doing uh, my tests when I have my rocks, my live rock in it. That's when I'll do the second test, and from there we'll take it from there. See how the nitrate, the ammonia levels go up at the nitrate. So, hopefully, guys, you keep up with my videos so I could get some feedback. I am currently getting a LED for up here. Right now, like I said, it's running the T5 filled the T5 lighting lighting. And um, that's my water. See how it's jumping up and down? That's because of the air. Uh, the water is just getting real stir up. But that's what I want to. I want to filtrate everything as much as I could, clear my water up. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you can help me out right here. And more better than subscribing, it will be sending me a comment, helping me out with everything. Oh, and yeah, by the way, I have this background right here on it i still need to trim it down to the levels that i need um thank you guys again subscribe or even that better than subscribe leave a comment again part two of my video stay tuned for part three as soon as i get it yeah i'm gonna be posting it up any help that you guys could give me please comment below thank you guys and new york city is nighttime so good night morning whichever it is but make sure you comment Thank you, guys.